In this video, we're going to look at bird of prey senses by exploring the amazing owls. As we learned in video number five, birds of prey are well known for having amazing eyesight. They have far more sensory cells in their eyes compared to mammals. And buzzers have been found to have five times as many sensing cells in their eyes as humans. We found out in the last video that the central point in our eye is called the fovea, and it's where the light sensing cells are found. These cells are called photoreceptors. Humans have one fovea, but birds of prey have two. This means birds of prey have excellent peripheral vision, up to 270 degrees, with a 70 degree blind spot. Owls can turn their heads 270 degrees. When combined with the 170 degree peripheral vision of each eye, this gives them an amazing 360 degree field of vision. To achieve the flexibility needed to turn their head 270 degrees, owl necks have 14 vertebrae, while humans have seven. Owls also have special blood vessels in their necks to ensure that the blood supply to their brain isn't restricted when they turn their head so far around. But whilst their far away vision is excellent, these adaptations come at a cost. Owls have terrible close-up vision and they can also see relatively few colours. This doesn't really matter though, because most owls hunt at night or at dawn and dusk when colours are less important. Their eyesight is more adapted to what is important, being able to see in very low light levels. Vertebrate animals' eyes have two types of light receptor cells in them. Cells called rods, which sense light, and cells called cones, which sense colour. Owls have an abundance of light-sensitive rod cells in their eyes, and far fewer cones. Owls can see very well at night, but they have adapted their eyesight to maximise the amount of movement and light they can see at night at the expense of seeing colour. After all, no one needs to see colours at night time. To protect their huge eyes, owls also have three eyelids. They have a normal upper and lower eyelids, the upper closing when the owl blinks, and the lower closing up when the owl's asleep. But they also have a third eyelid called a nictitating membrane that closes diagonally across the eye from the inside to the outside. This cleans and protects the surface of the eye, just like windscreen wipers. Owls also need amazing hearing to catch their prey. Hector the Eagle Owl at the Bird Centre looks like he has huge hairy ears at the top of his head, but in fact these are just feathers for display, he uses them a bit like expressive eyebrows. In fact, owl ears are small and hidden away, but they're extremely sensitive. Owl's ears are located next to their eyes within the flat feathers of the owl's face. This flat, feathery circle is known as a face disc, and it's one of the most important hearing adaptations an owl has. The face disc acts like a radio telescope to funnel sound towards the owl's sensitive ears. The great grey owl has the largest face disc to head size ratio of any owl, despite their skull being about the size of a ping pong ball. Great grey owls live in the far northern latitudes of Canada, North America and Scandinavia. They hunt different prey depending on their habitat, but prefer voles and other small mammals like gophers or weasels. Their extremely sensitive hearing allows them to hunt from a perch in a tree and catch their prey entirely by sound when it's hidden under snow. Owls also have another clever hearing adaptation. Some have one ear higher than the other, giving them a kind of stereo sound that allows them to pinpoint exactly where a sound is coming from. Owls are interested in the sound coming from the forest floor where their prey, a mouse or vole, scurries about. When a noise is heard, the owl is able to tell its direction and the height of the sound source because of the split second time difference between the sound waves arriving in the left and the right ears. Owls can detect a left to right time difference of about 30 millionths of a second. In a barn owl, the left ear is higher than the right, so a sound coming from a mouse running around the floor will be heard in the right ear before it's heard in the left. The translation of left, right, up and down signals are combined instantly in the owl's brain and create a mental image of the space where the sound source is located. 
Once the owl has determined the direction of its victim, it'll fly towards it, keeping its head in line with the direction of the last sound the prey made. If the prey moves, the owl is even able to make corrections mid-flight. Owls have many different incredible adaptations that make them very stealthy aerial hunters. It's these that gives owls the features we find so mysterious and magical, such as their huge facial discs and their ability to fly silently through the night. <laughs>